Hello, this is Rowan, and today we're going to hopefully do something quick and smart. Today, we're going to take care of this little issue here with all the OBSs in our NVIDIA app. This is what happens when you install and uninstall and do stuff. The NVIDIA app is in beta still, yes, uh, and there's no way through the interface to get rid of all these duplicate entries for programs that you're not using anymore. <laughs> so here in graphic, you see that I have these multiple entries for OBS Studio. And if I go here, I can add a program, but I don't get to remove anything in this list. So how do we take care of this? Well, first we start by... Um, my butt's in the way. But there's an NVIDIA app behind here. <laughs> First, we start by closing this. My arm's in the way. Close window. All right. Now, the NVIDIA control panel is still running. But the only way to close that is to come into Task Manager and go to services, start typing in NVIDIA. There we go. Select everything that's up here and hit stop. They're all stopped. And we'll minimize that. Let's minimize that. There we go. And the next thing we need to do is find a file. There we go. So, how to remove a program in the graphics tab of the new NVIDIA app. This is what we're going to do to get rid of these duplicate entries. So I'll leave a link in the description for this. You see that there's this wonderful link. We're going to copy it. Once you've got this link, uh, once you've got this directory structure, I would suggest opening up the file in a program like Notepad++. I've already got it open here. But if you don't, I would go to File, Open, Paste. And then where it says Username, change it to the username that you are logged in under. In this case, we are logged in on Rogan. And hit Enter. And there we go. And now you see that application metadata.json is here. First thing I would do after opening this file, it looks ugly, I know. I would save a copy and... I would actually put it somewhere like on the desktop. There. All right, now let's verify where this is. Come on. You see that this is still in uh, app data local, so that's our file that we need to work on. This is ugly. <laughs> so we're going to do some search and replace. Let's go to the replace option. Let's find this pattern here. The, uh, what's well, not a pattern? Let's find this search in paren, comma, paren. And we're going to replace it with this wonderful thing in paren, comma, backslash n, backslash n, paren. We're going to use an extended version of the search. Now, whatever program you use, you might have these abilities or not. Um, this is why I suggest using Notepad++. And we're going to replace all of those. And now you see that we have all these separate items. And look at that. There's OBS Studio. And oh, this is the last one. We don't want to mess with this really, do we? Well, here's the deal. There's an end paren comma return return here. So if we take out this one here, come on. Let's look at the pattern. End paren, end paren, comma. End paren, end paren. There's no comma. You can read some of this too, by the way. Short name, distribution, distributor. Program Files, Black Magic Design, DaVinci Resolve. And you see that I have Program Files, OBS Studio 32. You need to find which one that's actually accurate for your removal. This one, 
I know is out of date. Program Files, Black Magic Design, DaVinci Resolve. Don't want to mess with DaVinci Resolve. OBS Studio 32. I'm pretty sure that's not what it's under. Let's go and double check. Here's my OBS. Properties. OBS. This instance is not the official one. If I look in the folders, where to I hide it? I have it hidden over here. My official install version is not this one. So I'm going to remove this. Yeah, two parens and a comma. Delete that. And now that's the last item. This one is black magic. And I have another one of these. So we will come to here and delete that. I'm just going through making sure I'm not deleting the wrong one. OBS Studio 29. I do believe that's the right one. C program files, OBS Studio 29. Let's full double check things. Windows, C, C drive. Okay. Program files, OBS Studio 29. But we want to keep the one that says OBS Studio 29. This one just says C program file OBS Studio 30. But over here, we're going to select that and hit delete. OBS Studio 29, we're going to keep Steam VLC Media Player. OBS Studio, that's my private version. Now we're going to go through and find in the other direction. We're going to find the version with the backslash ends. And we're going to replace that with, without, and we're going to make this a extended search again, replace all, and we're going to save this. Remember, we made a backup, right? Yeah, just because. If we didn't, that would be when we get, yeah, over a barrel. Okay, so now we're going to open up Task Manager again, come to these three, hit Start. Just to verify, I go to Processes and Vid. You see that they're all running here. That's good. I'm going to load the NVIDIA app. And look at that. We only have two of them there now. Why would that be? Well, that would be because I actually have two of them. Yeah. Go to Graphics. And you can see that I have two different copies of OBS running. Yeah, they are... Um, in different directories, and I have VLC and DaVinci Resolve. So, the TLDR is that you can go into the task manager, turn off the NVIDIA services, and in a particular file, very carefully remove items that you know for a fact are not being used anymore, and then restart the NVIDIA app. I have in the link below the path to this uh, document and how you edit it is up to you. And if you destroy things, that's your fault. I strongly urge you to make a backup of any file that you're going to modify with a text editor before you do anything. Alrighty, so I hope this helped. Thank you for hanging in there and have a nice day. Until next time, bye!